Life in the UK practice test. Most common questions. For the test. Episode 8. Presented by Reza Al Mahmood, Life in the UK instructor. Question 1. Which two of the following are British inventions? A. Golf cart. B. Helicopter. C. Hovercraft. D. Jet engine. The correct answer is hovercraft and jet engine. More to know. The jet engine was developed in Britain in the 1930s by Sir Frank Whittle, a British Royal Air Force engineer officer. Sir Christopher Cockrell, a British inventor, invented the hovercraft in 1950. Question 2. Which two are famous UK landmarks? A. Grand Canyon. B. Loch Lomond. C. Notre Dame. D. Snowdonia. The correct answer is Loch Lomond and Snowdonia. Also good to know. Snowdonia is a national park in North Wales. It covers an area of 838 square miles. Its most well-known landmark is Snowdon, which is the highest mountain in Wales. Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park This national park covers 720 square miles in the west of Scotland. Loch Lomond is the largest expanse of fresh water in mainland Britain and probably the best known part of the park. Question 3. Is the statement below true or false? In the UK, everybody has the right to choose their religion or choose not to practice a religion. False. B. True. The correct answer is. This statement is true. Question 4. What is the capital city of Wales? A. Belfast. B. Cardiff. C. Edinburgh. D. Swansea. The correct answer is. Capital city of Wales is Cardiff. Question 5. What is it traditional to do on the 1st of April in the UK? A. Hunt for eggs. B. Make pancakes. C. Play jokes on each other. D. Play musical instruments in the street. The correct answer is. Play jokes on each other. Also good to know. April Fool's Day, the 1st of April is a day when people play jokes on each other until midday. The television and newspapers often have stories that are April Fool jokes. Question 6. Who was William Shakespeare? A. A Scottish patriot. B. A naval commander. C. A poet, actor and playwright. D. An English parliamentarian. The correct answer is a poet, actor and playwright. Also good to know. Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. He was a playwright and actor, and wrote many poems and plays. Question 7. The Wars of the Roses was fought by, the supporters of which two families in order to decide who should be King of England? A. The House of Lancaster. B. The House of Tudor. C. The House of Windsor. D. The House of York. The correct answer is. The House of Lancaster. And. The House of York. Also good to know. In 1455, a civil war was begun to decide who should be King of England. It was fought between the supporters of two families, the House of Lancaster and the House of York. This war was called the Wars of the Roses, because the symbol of Lancaster was a red rose, and the symbol of York was a white rose. Question 8. What was the Spanish Armada? A. A Spanish princess. B. A fleet of Spanish ships. C. A treaty with Spain. D. The Spanish army. The correct answer is. A fleet of Spanish ships. Also good to know. 
Elizabeth became one of the most popular monarchs in English history, particularly after 1588, when the English defeated the Spanish Armada, a large fleet of ships, which had been sent by Spain to conquer England and restore Catholicism. Question 9. Is the statement below true or false? Dundee and Aberdeen are cities in Northern Ireland. A. False. B. True. The correct answer is. This statement is false. Because. Dundee and Aberdeen are cities of Scotland. Question 10. Which two chambers from the UK Parliament? A. House of Fraser. B. House of Lords. C. House of Commons. D. House of Representatives. The correct answer is House of Lords and House of Commons. Question 11. Which of these statements is correct? A. Gilbert and Sullivan were a comedy double act. B. Gilbert and Sullivan wrote many comic operas. The correct answer is Gilbert and Sullivan wrote many comic operas. Question 12. When William of Orange came to the throne, with his wife Mary, this later became known as the Glorious Revolution. Why? A. Uh, it led to the Reformation and the formation of the Protestant Church. S. B. It signaled the start of the Hundred Years' War. C. There was no fighting in England. D. William of Orange defeated a much larger army. The correct answer is There was no fighting in England. Question 13 MPs have a duty to serve and represent which of the following groups? A. Everyone in their constituency. B. Everyone in their constituency who voted for them. C. The House of Lords. D. Their fellow MPs. The correct answer is Everyone in their constituency. Also good to know. Each MP represents a parliamentary constituency, which is a small area of the country. MPs have a number of different responsibilities. Such as. They represent everyone in their constituency. Help to create new laws. Scrutinize and comment on what the government is doing and debate important national issues. Question 14. Who chairs debates in the House of Commons? A. The Foreign Secretary. B. The Prime Minister. C. The Speaker. D. The Leader of the Opposition. The correct answer is The Speaker. Question 15. Is the statement below true or false? Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, each have devolved administrations, which give them total control over all policies and laws. The correct answer is. This statement is false. Because. Policy and laws governing defence, foreign affairs, immigration, taxation and social security all remain under central UK government control. However. Many other public services, such as education, are controlled by the devolved administrations. Question 16. Which of the following statement is correct? A. Famous sailing event is held at Crows on the Isle of Wight. B. A famous sailing event is held in the city of Belfast. The correct answer is... Famous sailing event is held at Crows on the Isle of Wight. Question 17. D-Day refers to what event in British history? A. Battle of Trafalgar. B. British invasion of Europe in 1944. C. Dropping of atom bomb on Japan. D. End of the war in Europe in 1945. The correct answer is... British invasion of Europe in 1944. Also more to know, 
D-Day refers to the Allied invasion of Europe on 6 June 1944. Which took place on the beaches of Normandy in France. Question 18. The statement below true or false. There are no differences between the court systems of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. A. False. B. True. The correct answer is, this statement is false, because there are some differences consist between the court systems of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Question 19. Which of these statements is correct? A. The UK's constitution is a single document that includes laws and conventions. B. The UK's constitution is unwritten but includes laws and conventions. The correct answer is. The UK's constitution is unwritten but includes laws and conventions. Also good to know. A constitution is a set of principles by which a country is governed. It includes all of the institutions that are responsible for running the country and how their power is kept in check. The Constitution also includes laws and conventions. Question 20. Is it acceptable in the UK to treat people worse because of their sexual orientation? A. Uh, no, it is never acceptable to treat people worse for their sexual orientation. B. Yes, if their sexual orientation is forbidden by religion. The correct answer is. No, it is never acceptable to treat people worse for their sexual orientation. More to know. Although Britain is one of the world's most diverse societies, there is a set of shared values and responsibilities that everyone can agree with. These values and responsibilities include to treat everyone equally, regardless of sex, race, religion, age, disability, class or sexual orientation. Question 21. What happens when members of parliament, MPs, hold surgeries? A. Uh, members of the public can meet their MP to discuss their issues. B. They discuss local health issues with doctors. C. They invite members of the press along to talk over national issues. D. They meet local councillors to discuss local issues. The correct answer is. Members of the public can meet their MP to discuss their issues. In addition, many MPs, assembly members, MSPs and MEPs hold regular local surgeries, where constituents can go in person, to talk about issues, that are of concern to them. These surgeries are often advertised in the local newspaper. Question 22. Which two are 20th century British discoveries or inventions? A. Cash machines, ATMS. B. Cloning a mammal. C. Mobile phones. D. Walkmans. The correct answer is. Cash machines, ATM and cloning a mammal. More to know. In 1996, two British scientists, Sir Ian Wilmot and Keith Campbell, led a team which was the first to succeed in cloning a mammal, Dolly the Sheep. In the 1960s, James Goodfellow invented the cash dispensing ATM, automatic teller machine, or cash point. The first of these was put into use by Barclays Bank in Enfield, North London in 1967. Question 23. What created the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland? A. The Act of Union. B. The Great Governments. C. The Great Union. D. The Act for the Government. The correct answer is. The Act of Union. Question 24. Which two of the following groups of adults are eligible to vote in all UK election? A. All UK born and naturalised adult citizen. B. 
only those born in the UK. C. Citizens of Commonwealth who are resident in the UK. D. Citizens of the USA. The correct answer is all UK-born and naturalised adult citizen and citizens of Commonwealth who are resident in the UK. This is end of episode 8. To watch more of similar video, please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Next episode is 9. See you in next episode.